here we have some problems that involve similar triangles. And what we'll do is we'll set up proportions to solve for some missing side. The first one says two ladders are leaning against a wall at the same angle as shown. How long is the shorter ladder? So we really want to find that side right there. And it corresponds to this side over here that's 60 feet. It's actually the same as this side here. I guess that's more on the triangle. So 60 feet, and I'm going to call this one x. Those two correspond. And then we have this other measure, the height of it against the wall. We have 45 and 18. So we can set up a proportion here. I'm going to say 60 is to 45 as x is to 18. Now, I decided to put the, the uh, length of the ladder on top and the height against the wall on the bottom. So I have to do the same over here. Length of the ladder is the unknown. So I call that x, and the height against the wall is 18. Now we just cross multiply. So 60 times 18 and 45 times x. So we get 45x equals 1080. And then we simply divide by 45. And we have x equals 24 feet. And then I always like to go back to the problem and see, does that make sense? So that's 60, this is less than 60, 24 is less than 60. Okay, it seems like it might make sense. All right, let's look at another one. This one says, campsites R and S, so this and this, are on opposite sides of a lake. A survey crew made the measurements shown on the diagram. Kind of a crazy diagram, we got this bow tie situation. Uh, what is the difference between the two campsites? So what we have here are two similar uh, triangles, and we want to find this side right here. And this side is clearly going to correspond to this side. We'll call that one x. And then we have all these other measurements, and the only trick here is making sure we know which of these sides correspond with these sides. And what you'll notice is that this side is longer, 452 versus 432, and this side is longer, 361.6 versus 345.6. So this side right here corresponds to this side. So be careful about that. Now let's set up our ratio. I'm going to say 402 is to 452. So I'm using the side we're looking for and then the longer side of that same triangle. And then over here we'll have the side we're looking for, x, uh, over the longer side of this triangle, 361. And then we have to cross multiply. I'm going to need my calculator for this one. So it's 452x equals 402 times 361.6 and that is whew, 1, 145,363.2 and then of course we divide that by 452 and we get x is 321.6 and this is meters. And again, I want to ask myself, does that make sense? This triangle is a smaller version of this triangle, so our answer should be smaller than 402 meters. It's 321.6. That does seem to make sense. So that's a little bit of work with similar triangles and solving for sides with proportions.